Hello and welcome, my name is Axel K and today we're revisiting Miracle Rogue. This is one of my favorite decks in the meta and it's very combo heavy. What you wanna do is you wanna set up efficient Octobot for mana reduction, play a field contact to draw a bunch and pair your Shadow Step with powerful cards such as Kasakus, Jandis and Alexstrasza. Shadow Step has a ton of more uses and we'll go over that later. Try to hit an efficient Octobot in your mulligan, this is your main priority. After that you can go for Cult Neophyte, Foxy Fraud, Field Contact, Mancrick and Kasakus. I even like keeping a Guardian Og Merchant to make sure that I can proc the Octobot myself. Sometimes I will even play them together on turn 3 if I'm up against something that can deal 4 damage in one hit to the Octobot. A lot of the game plan revolves around getting huge turns where you can just burn through your deck with field contact. I love putting a Divine Shield on him with Og Merchant, it's gonna make him hard to remove and it's good if I wanna use him the next turn again. Remember that when you shadow step a 1 or 2 cost minion they will be free to play again. So if you have a field contact down you can pull off some amazing plays with Foxy Fraud. Play it, draw a card, cast a free swindle, draw 3 cards, shadow step it, play it again, draw a card and play a free swindle again to draw 3 more cards. That's just an example of how much you can draw with only 2 mana if you already have a field contact on board. Since you can do so much with so little mana, don't be afraid to play a secret passage on low mana, especially if you have a foxy fraud and are looking for a shadow step. You guys already know this, but let's get over the easiest way of setting up an Alexstrasza lethal. It's across 2 turns, you play Alex on turn 9 and immediately shadow step her. On turn 10 you play Alex again and you 10 woo her back to your hand and play her again. This will deal a total of 24 damage across 2 turns but of course you can use that first hit with Alex to heal or to kill an enemy minion. This is just scratching the surface of Miracle Rogue. I have another Miracle Rogue video on the channel where I go over more strategies surrounding cards like One Thief and Price Plunderer. The full video will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching, we're at the end of the expansion but we have a ton of decks to go through, revisit and maybe even say goodbye to before United in Stormwind. So don't be afraid to make deck requests in the comments. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, enjoy the games. Alright, are you guys ready to perform some miracles? I think a shaman will be a good victim for our horrible, horrible miracles. Um, good stuff, but we don't want to keep this. I think against a shaman, we really want to keep our board super clear. I mean, their board clear. Our board full. There are a bunch of things to play around, and this is kind of an interesting matchup. We're just looking for an Octobot, we didn't get it, but we have a lot of other good things. So, what we can do is we can actually coin and swindle now. Or we could just kind of wait to draw with the field contact, but I really like trying to get an Octobot. So, Passage. Okay, that's a one thief. We have good things, I mean steps and one thieves together with field contact will make us draw a ton and brain freeze, very good as well. So we're up against an aggro shaman, right? Mm. We don't need to kill this, we can just stab it once and then we can take it next turn. I think it's gonna be aggro, it might be control, I've seen a couple of control like maybe two or three, but I haven't had any problems dealing with them. I think it's safe to say that this is control. What's he going for? Plague lands. That means we can kill him. Hmm. Could passage here. I think we can passage here and look for an octobot. Maybe we get a foxy fraud and we can draw some. There's the octobot. Nice. Um, do I have a way of procking it? No, we don't. Next turn, I guess. Oh, we're clearing here. Next turn, he could um, dunk tank this, which is kind of bad. But if he doesn't, then I guess we can proc it with uh, brain freeze. I really want to pop off next turn. But I think we're going to have to do it in two turns. But getting a reduction on this is absolutely huge. Oh, good. So unless he kills this now, which just seems unlikely. Then we can get the full reduction on this hand and just start doing amazing things. Okay, let's just go for it. This one. Um, we want to go for damage here, but I think Apexis is too uh, expensive. That's another Octobot, which is really good. Actually, we could just reduce this entire hand even more. 
which I kind of like. That's an Alex. Counter spell might be good against this boy. And do we want to draw with Tenwu? No, but I think I want to shadow step something and keep drawing. Hmm. Flame Strike isn't bad, but I think we're going for Apexis. There's so many cards. Good, that's a good miracle turn. This guy wakes up in a couple of turns. Three turns? Can we kill him in three? We can't Alexstrasza before three. But we kind of want to Kazakus, but I think we can Kazakus on seven and do it all together. Mancrick is nice. Um, kind of need to plan this turn out a little. This wakes up next turn, he's gonna burst me with spells, right? So I think a Cult Neophyte would be good. Or a counter spell. I think we could go Kasaka's counter spell. Hopefully we can set up like give everything 2-2. Two, two. Let's go for Divine Shield. Yes, if these stick. So we play the counter spell now to try to kind of make us not die, right? Hmm. I could just tend with this back up, but I don't think so. Actually, we could Greater Golem next turn twice. So, hope, hope, hope these stick. Then we're just gonna hit him so hard. I think I'm too afraid of this damage. There we go. That's a good counter spell. Hopefully, it doesn't have a full board clear. But now, I just think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna go crazy here. Then we gotta 10 woo him. Then we gotta play him again. Woof! I'm getting a little giggly. So, which one is. How much damage do we even have? We hit first, ask questions later. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Huge board! Kind of bloodlust ish. And I think it's kind of fun with uh, with Rogue, right? Because this isn't a combo that you would usually just think, like, this is what I'm gonna get about uh, when I play a Rogue. Usually you think about uh, Wicked Stabs and maybe Alexstrasza Tenwu combos, but it's kind of fun to, to make these really huge boards. And I used to do things like this with Secret Rogue back in the day, if you guys remember. There we go! That was a slick miracle game. <laughs> Another shaman, but I think this is going to be more challenging. I think this guy is playing good shaman. I've seen a ton of uh, Doomhammer shamans, which is really scary. Um, yeah, I was thinking like, man, Krieg is super good, but uh, I really just want that Octobot. I think it's that important to get it that I just hard mulligan for it. It doesn't matter if I get five wicked stabs in my opening hand. I would rather have gone for the um, for the Octobot. Super good, and just getting that reduction. It's kind of OP, but it's not problematic. It's weird that this isn't... Oh yes, there it is. Okay, so he has the coin, but the only way he kills it is with Dunk Tank, and for that he needs Lightning Bloom, and I don't think he, uh, he runs Lightning Bloom. Uh, that were aggro shaman of the past where you really wanted that doom hammer on like turn three, which was huge It was fun We can actually proc this ourselves With the price plunder and we might actually do that, but this isn't the best hand to get a reduction on okay good now We can just trade like this Okay Please please this is so good. Um, but I want to kill everything off Best way of doing this is with Price Plunderer. So I can actually go for a knife as well. Right? Let's see, so we hit here first. We play one. Oh yeah, we need to play this first. Two. 
The ice barrier can be good here. Then we kill this, and then we make a knife, right? There we go. And we can be a little greedy with the other Octobot, since uh, we can use it to reduce a bigger hand later. But this is just, like, huge! Turn 3, what did we do? We played a 3-2, a 1-2, a 2-1, removed a minion, and we discovered a card. This is very good. Hmm, we can use this opportunity to set up our ice barrier and put down an Octobot. But then he might just kill it with, um, with Dunk Tank, so we might just go for Secret Passage here. I think this always goes in here. So we go Secret Passage and we might actually find a Shadow Step, which is really good. And I think our Wicked Stab goes down on the minions. So we played one card. Oh, I really want to put this down, though. No, I think we're gonna draw. So play one card. Two card. Now this sets up for a good clear. And then we save the dagger. And he hasn't corrupted his dunk tanks yet, so our board is... We're, our board is kind of safe. We also have the Guardian Og Merchant if we want to protect something, but I think we're just gonna take the opportunity to draw. So next turn we might go Ice Barrier and Swindle. That might actually make him think twice also about uh, going with like a big board clear. Cause we... No, no, next... Oh, okay, so we, we weren't protected at all. Mm, this kills off this. Hmm. It's a good Wicked Stab. We could get a good reduction here as well. Question is, do we swindle first? I think we swindle first here. Super good. Now we get that sweet reduction. So what's the best way of doing this? We throw both of these into that, but I don't like that. We are like this. Like this. And then we trade off. I Ah, th oh, we might want to shadow step these. I don't know which one I want to shadow step. We'll just go for it. Next turn we can go on a free secret passage, which is really good. But yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, he hasn't been able to corrupt the um, dunk tank yet. I'm just kind of assuming that he has it. But he's really struggling to corrupt it, which is good. So we can kind of go wide again. But we really want to keep the board clear. It's hard for him to come back, even though he just refilled his hand, which is good for him. Do we play Mancrick first this turn? I think... I think we can play Mancrick here. Hopefully we don't draw Olgra with the, the secret passage, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Famous last words. Shadow step. See if we can do a similar play to the last turn. Go five golem. We take rush against shaman. Then we give our minions more. What do I want to shadow step here? I want to get the Shadow Step out of my deck, I think. No, we we could Shadow Step Kasakas, I guess. Um, Let's just bring him back. We can discover another Golem next turn. So I just kind of wanted to shave off some cards from my deck, even though... Um, What's it called? Shadow Step is really good. It's kind of good to just, you know, take it, like removing one card is like almost ish, like a soft draw. You kind of draw something, but not really. This guy is drawing everything. It feels like we've done a lot, but his health isn't really moving. We can go Kasaka's five golem and then start hitting. This is gonna give us some uh, some time to draw as well. 
I think even though we're getting closer to 10, I think we still go for another 5 golem. We can go uh, poisonous this time and maybe deal 3. This will be a good removal tool uh, later. And now we just buff it. We trade. I don't really care about this. Because it does zero damage. And he's at half, half? He's at half HP now. And this is just gonna absolutely wreck something if you play something big. Getting those buffs off. I actually played a ton of this deck last night. And I never got those really good um, kind of Sue e at Kazakus plays. I don't know, it's fun. I definitely wouldn't kind of make my game plan revolve around this, but when it works, it works. Kazakus is just so good. Can we straight up kill him? Yes, we can't. We're close though. A wicked stab, please. That's it, right? Do you have enough? I think we do. No, it's a five. Ah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I could have just played this and won. Now that's a missed lethal. Embarrassing. Um, I don't know what to do. I think we can wait with this. It's just ice barrier here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have just played Foxy Fraud, right? Foxy Fraud free Vanessa would would have been lethal. Hey, at least I caught it. <laughs> and yeah. We just go over whatever he plays with this next turn. Unless he has healing, which he can't find. Okay, there we go. 